not noticeable when they start going down, but yeah. Until We're back at Disneyland at night. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow, and tomorrow. Welcome to the most magical place on earth. Now it's 50% more winter. Thank you. Thank you. Thanksgiving is here, and in the 21st century, Thanksgiving being here means Christmas is here. Christmas is magical. Disneyland is magical. What do you get when you combine them together? Magical soup! Yes, every year, the happiest place on Earth transforms into the jolliest place on Earth, and Disneyland becomes a Christmas wonderland. When Walt Disney was alive, his private apartment was right here over the firehouse. They developed a signal for when he was in the park by leaving a light on in the upstairs window. That way all the cast members and all the guests would know Walt was here watching over you. Ever since Walt passed away, they still leave a light on there all the time to remind us that the spirit of Walt Disney is always here. The only time there's no burning lamp up there is Christmas time when they change it to a lit Christmas tree. Wow. Well, look at all Mickey's presents. <laughs> Disneyland doesn't just do Christmas, they do the heck out of Christmas. Over the next month, we'll do some videos talking about different holiday attractions here at Disneyland. But for now, let's just take a quick look around the park and see what Disneyland looks like at night, dressed up for Christmas. Mickey Reese. <laughs> All these people are waiting for Christmas fireworks. Even Santa has a pyrotechnic side. fireworks show, Main Street is blanketed by fake snow, proving that even those who live in a Mediterranean climate can enjoy a white Christmas. Besides decorating Main Street and your photo with Santa Claus, one of the first classic Disneyland attractions to be rethemed for the holidays was It's a Small World. Inside and outside, it's a holiday trip around the world. So many lights. Rolly Crump and Mary Blair knew they would do that. Now Disneyland is always decked out in theming, but at Christmas time, it's a theming explosion. Christmas lights, re-themed attractions, even the old abandoned motorboat ride gets in on the action. Night or day, Christmas of July, one of the most fantastic things here at Disneyland is the castle. Always the centerpiece of Disneyland, Disney truly spares no expense decking her out for the holidays. That is truly fantastic. Disney's holiday spirit grows by leaps and bounds every year. It seems like every year they come up with something a little more fantastic than the last. Donald's out late tonight. Even Frontierland is decked out in holiday glory. Even the halls of Rancho del Zocalo are decked. Christmas chilies. Ah, Christmas in the old west. During the day, the Big Thunder Ranch is home to the Jingle Jangle Jamboree. Not too much happening here at night. We'll have to come back in the day. Tomorrowland is not very Christmassy. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I don't think they have Christmas in the future. Hopefully some Jedi's will restore Christmas to the galaxy. You did it, Yoda. You did it. Oh no, turns out there's plenty of holiday cheer in the gift shop. 
I don't know if any of you have ever noticed this, but Duffy the bear has a hidden Mickey on his foot. A foot fungus. Awesome. No Christmas under the sea either, but it is beautiful. The smoking area is always lit up too. Get it? There's a Yuletide! Most of Fantasyland isn't decorated for Christmas either, except for one little thing. What used to be Rapunzel's meet and greet has now been taken over by Frozen. <laughs> New Orleans Square is looking fantastic this year. I love New Orleans Square. It's kind of like the real French Quarter, only it doesn't smell like pee. Even pirates love Christmas. Mmm, Christmas gumbo. A Christmas poppy. Of course, no visit to Disneyland during the holidays would be complete without the star holiday themed attraction, the Haunted Mansion Holiday. Maybe it's because they have Haunted Mansion Holiday over here, but some of this stuff is a little creepy. Merry Christmas! I want to go to Christmas at Club 33. Seems like that holiday magic just spreads a little further and further through Disneyland every year. Case in point, Adventureland. Being more of a jungle environment, Adventureland really isn't known for its holiday cheer. But this year, for the first time ever, they've turned the Jungle Cruise into a Jingle Cruise. Proving that even in the jungle, people like presents. Now I've been on a cruise through the jungle, but I've never been on a cruise through the jingle. I'm ready to jingle all the way. No, they've been creating such a ruckus recently. We've, we've been telling them they're going to end up on the naughty list. Christmas list next year. Time to give yourselves a round of applause. You survived the world famous jingle. Woo! To be honest with you, the Jingle Cruise isn't much different from the regular Jungle Cruise. But the jokes are a little more gingerbread flavored. Wow, we basically made it all the way around the park. Well, now you've seen it. There can be no doubt as fantastic as the rest of the park is looking lately, the true hub of Christmas here at Disneyland is Main Street, USA. I just realized this is a perfect place to take my Christmas card photo. How was that? Is that okay? Mama like it. One of the most wonderful things about Main Street at Christmas time is they're actually pumping out gingerbread smells into the crowd. Ah, makes me think of food. Nope. Not kidding, it's part of Disney's secret mind control technology, the Smellitzer. Check out my video on it right here. It's after midnight now and the park is closed, but Main Street USA is still open so you can finish all of your Christmas shopping. Here's something weird. Mickey Christmas candy corn. Now that's something you don't see every day. Mickey Mouse loves Christmas. Mickey tree skirts, Mickey ornaments, Mickey house, Mickey cookie cutter, cookie, Mickey stockings, Mickey nutcrackers, Mickey Santa, Mickey pirate, Mickey oven mitt, Mickey cookies, Mickey Mickey, and one Thanksgiving Mickey. It's Mickey overload in there. My name is Abraham Lincoln, and I love Christmas. All I want for Christmas is more Disneyland. Well, the park is closed and it's time for me to go home and drink some eggnog. We'll have more fantastic videos from Disneyland in the daytime to show you some of the awesome Christmas stuff going on that you can't see at night. And maybe we'll take a closer look at some of those Christmassy attractions. In the meantime, we'll have more crazy videos up on this channel, so subscribe! And I'll see you later. Bye-bye!
Jingle time, jingle time, jingle Christmas time. Right? Now that's a Christmas tree. <gasps> a grapefruit. Oh, no, no, no.